Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Noah Chast. Good evening, Central Oregon. Happy Saturday and a snowy Saturday. It is. Look at Mount Bachelor in the Outback lift line. Winter is coming, or it's already here. So is the new House of the Dragon on Sunday. I'm excited for that. But I know a lot of you are excited for this snow right here, ready to get back up on the mountain, skiing, snowboarding, playing in the snow, doing everything. And it's looking like that's on our way, especially with our forecast coming up this week. Not a lot of snow in most of the region, but here in the higher elevations in Mount Bachelor and other mountains in the Cascades, that is what we're seeing is this snow. And this is a really cool shot I want to show you, the Aspen Lakes Golf Course camera. We're getting a little bit covered by the clouds, but you can sort of see that our mountain peaks are starting to get their snow cover again. Really just one or two days of snowfall, but they're starting to look more like themselves. And what we're seeing in the region is sort of what we'll be seeing throughout the next week. Some areas of lighter clouds, some areas of heavier cloud coverage. So depending on where we are throughout the region, we'll be seeing snow, rain, or none of the above throughout the next couple days of this week. So a very interesting sort of fall, wintry mix type day. We do have a freeze warning for tonight in most parts of the region. So that basically means through the hours of the night into the morning will be below freezing. So any crops out there, anything you're taking care of, be wary because it will get to freezing tonight. And we're going to look at it right now. We're sitting around 40 degrees at the moment, but we'll be climbing down close to that freezing you know, around midnight, 33 degrees. And we'll sit at that for really most of the morning, even up into you know tomorrow at 7 a.m. We'll still be at 28 degrees. Now this is why we're seeing this weather system that we have right now. We have a system coming in from the northwest, coming all the way down here, bringing that northerly wind, that northerly flow to us, cooling things down. You can see the precipitation here, the green, some of the blue, that's the rain and the snow. If we focus in on our region, right now not a lot of snow and rain right here in sort of the bend, you know, Lapine area, but you can see it's down here in Medford. It's maybe hitting the mountains a little bit. That's what's adding that snow and that rain and that freezing temperatures in the mountains and that cold, cooler air and clouds here in the high desert. Looking now at our winds, like I said, we're getting that northwesterly winds. Winds have actually calmed down in the last hour or so. They were about 20 miles an hour. Now they're down in those mid-teens, 14 in Bend, 13 in Redmond. That northwesterly wind bringing in those cooler temperatures, as I mentioned. Looking at our future track, a whole lot of blue. We just saw that. That'll come through tonight. Then we get into Sunday at 6, and we're a little clear. Sunday looks nice, but what's this sort of peaking over here on the coast? That's a whole lot of rain as we go into Sunday night into Monday. That comes right over the area, even some dark dark green yellow spots for us. Then it clears up into Tuesday, another clear day, but then as we get into Tuesday night, now we see this blue, this purple, that's that chance for snow, that's that chance for rain here in the region. Looking at our temperatures right now, we're in the 40s across the region, across the state, getting in the 30s in some parts as well. And now we're going to be dipping into those low to mid 20s, and we'll be getting up into the 50s and 40s tomorrow. Looking at our seven day, we'll have rain on Monday. Nothing really on Tuesday, maybe a small chance for something. And then some clear days, some rainy days throughout the rest of the week. That's been Check Your Weather. Take a quick break.